Fernando. He's a consultant clinical oncologist at the University Hospital of Birmingham, and uh, he is going to present uh, some data generated with radiotherapy within or during chemotherapy for breast cancer patients. Thank you very much. Thank you for asking me to, to speak this morning. The, this trial, the CCRAB trial, was a trial that was designed to see if we could manipulate the sequencing of chemotherapy and radiotherapy in order to reduce the risk of local recurrence in early stage breast cancer. Now you might ask, is this important? Is redu reducing local recurrence in breast cancer of any importance? Well, the first thing to say is that if any of you are actually in a clinic with breast cancer patients, to develop a local recurrence is absolutely devastating to them. It's as dev devastating as developing a recurrence anywhere. And what we didn't know when we actually set up this study was that in addition to the terrible sh shock and morbidity of developing a recurrence, we can also potentially have an impact on survival. And we know from the overview of 2005 that for every four recurren local recurrences we can prevent, we can also potentially save the life of one of our patients. Now, for a cancer like breast cancer, which is very common, this has very, very important implications. And it means that even small improvements in local control will have a long-term continuous men benefit. So, how can sequencing affect local recurrence? Well, the first study that was done looking at that was a study from the United States from Dr. Recht and his colleagues. And the initial results from that certainly suggested that if you change the normal sequence, which is to give chemotherapy followed by radiotherapy to radiotherapy first, there was potentially a detriment in long-term outcome and survival. <laughs> survival was worse. So it was suggested that we really mustn't delay the onset of chemotherapy. So an alternative way of trying to manipulate sequencing is to actually take your radiotherapy and not give it at the end, which is what most people in the world will actually do at the moment, but to bring the radiotherapy and bring it much earlier and try and what we call either sandwich or give it in a synchronous manner. And this, of course, means that you avoid the delay of the radiotherapy. It means that potentially you shorten the patient's treatment time. And also, giving it together in this manner, there might actually be a synchronous effect, an effect of the two treatments that might make local control better than giving chemotherapy followed by radiotherapy, which is the standard treatment. Now, throughout the world, there are different fractionations, but what I meant by fractionations is different courses of radiotherapy that are used. In the United Kingdom and Canada, people tend to use a three-week course of radiotherapy. In the United States and Europe, they tend to use a longer course. And we could look at those two different ways of doing it because there's a three-week gap between chemotherapy courses and we can either sandwich the radiotherapy like this or give it over a slightly more prolonged manner, what we call the concomitant manner. So this was the aim of the study. Could local control be improved by the synchronous delivery of chemotherapy and radiotherapy? And you might say to me, well, why don't we just do that anyway? And the reason we can't do that anyway is what we don't know is, is giving the two treatments together likely to worsen the side effects of treatment and the long-term toxicity? So both of these needed to be assessed. So this is the trial in our design. Very simple trial run, patients with early stage breast cancer, suitable for either wide local excision or mastectomy, fit for treatment. And they had to have a complete macroscopic removal of the tumor. And patients could be given any, either a CMF type chemotherapy or an anthracycline followed by CMF chemotherapy. We had to use CMF because CMF was the chemotherapy regime that you could actually combine with radiation treatment. And then the patients were randomized to either synchronous or sequential therapy and followed up for 10 years. We aimed to achieve a 2,000 patient trial, the largest trial in the world 
looking at sequencing of chemotherapy and radiotherapy in early stage disease. And these are the important results that we are showing at ESMO, which is a five-year local recurrence rates. And what we see is a significant reduction in local breast cancer recurrence in patients having the synchronous treatment. 2.3% reduction, that was statistically significant. This is equivalent to a 35% reduction in the risk of local recurrence. So a very large benefit, very similar to the benefits seen with chemo radiation in other sites. What's the price to pay for that? The price to pay for it is we do certainly see an increased acute skin reaction. Um, and you can see here that we combine the moderate and severe skin reactions. It's 24% in the synchronous arm, 15% in the uh, sequential arm. But I think it's important to note that the, the percentage of severe reactions was very, very small. It's only 4%. And the vast majority of these patients, 96% of the patients, the acute skin reaction had completely settled within four to six weeks of completing treatment. So it was really a, a modest increase in acute skin toxicity. We should also note that, of course, this trial ran between 1998 and 2004, and since then we are using far more modern ways of delivering radiotherapy, which significantly reduce acute skin reaction compared to the methods used when this study was running. Have we impacted on survival? Have we, by giving the synchronous treatment, have we made the chemotherapy less active? The answer is no. The survival rates are exactly the same. We're not compromising patient survival in any way by giving these treatments concurrently. And what about quality of life? Have we made their life miserable by giving the synchronous treatment compared to sequential? The answer, again, is no. There is no difference in quality of life between synchronous treatment and sequential treatment. So, how does CCLAB impact? We have to use a CMF type regime, and you can use an anthracycline, and potentially there's no reason why you can't use a taxane as well, but you have to use a CMF type regime. And the trial has shown that giving synchronous treatment, you can get a 35% reduction in the risk of developing a local recurrence, with either on the, in the breast or in the chest wall. And the effect was seen both for patients being treated with a three week regime and those being treated with a regime longer than that. The biggest benefit as far as the patients were concerned and why the trial was so popular and why it recruited beyond its target number, patients liked the fact that when they finished their last chemotherapy, they'd finished all their treatment. They didn't have to wait another four weeks to start their radiotherapy. It's a long haul for patients having adjuvant chemotherapy and radiotherapy. They liked the fact that they finished their chemotherapy, they can book their holiday, they can get back to work, there are lots of benefits in that way too. And with careful patient selectin and with modern radiotherapy techniques, I think the acute talk in slight, very slight increase in, in acute skin toxicity can also be dealt with. 